On September 18, 1979, Dr. Sylvia Earle attempted to become the first scientist to walk the open ocean floor at a depth of over 1,000 feet. Sylvia, Sylvia, how do you read? Sylvia, Sylvia, do you read? Do you read? If we don't establish radio contact in the next 20 seconds, we're going to terminate the dive. God, I hope she's all right down there. Sylvia, Sylvia, do you read? Aboard the dive, bring her up. She seems to be okay. Must have been a radio. Sylvia Earle, PhD in marine biology and mother of three. On the day following her aborted dive, she once again risked her life in the deep Pacific waters near Hawaii. The system seems fine. I'll give you a check. The diving suit Dr. Earl was testing was the most technically sophisticated ever developed, designed to withstand pressures at up to 2,000 feet. I read you loud and clear. System is okay. Attached to a mini-sub operated by Maui divers, Sylvia was slowly carried towards the ocean floor. The pressure at this depth was over 30 times greater than normal. If the suit were to crack or develop a leak, Sylvia Earl would be crushed instantly. I see it. What's the bottom? 1,250 feet. It's like another planet. <laughs> it is so beautiful. On that historic day, Dr. Sylvia Earle risked everything to fulfill her personal goal, and all of us will gain from her work. But because of the enormous risk involved, should she have been stopped? We think not. Personal freedom was at stake. If anybody had held her back, if Sylvia Earle had lost her freedom to choose, we all would have lost with her. Something to think about from the people at Getty.